Yeah, it's just an update of the 20 gallon tank. I haven't updated in a long time. I don't think so, yeah. Got a new aquascape. Um, one of my glass catfish, I'm pretty sure, died. And this guy still, but yeah. It kind of sucks. They're one of my favorite fish in here, actually, but. Yeah, so I just have that guy now. I'll, I'll probably get another one, because they do like to be um, together in, like, schools and stuff. But, yeah, I had a pair. But, yeah, one of them died, so, yeah. I have not showed you these guppies, I don't think, yet. I have that. I'm pretty sure it's a female black tuxedo or something. And then I have this. Um, I have that yellow snake skin right there, female. So yeah, there's my Dojo Loach, and he's my favorite fish in this tank. I love him, he's really cool. But, um, I got, like, I think eight Neon Tetra, Tetras. Um, and, like, really, like, really small ones. I didn't realize how small they were. They were, like, they must have been a fourth of that Neon over there. They were tiny, but, so, I put them in, and, of course, they got eaten, but, yeah, I think, I, I don't even, I, there's like under five of them left, I think. I got eight, and there's under five of them left, so, yeah. And then I got, as you can see, that's a yeah, pretty big mono shrimp up there. They're doing a really good job of taking algae off this plant, actually. There's, used to be a lot more. Yeah, there's a glow light tetra right there, and they're getting pretty big. I actually used to have, I used to have six of these guys. I used to have one about one and a half to two inches long. I mean, a pretty, pretty big glow light tetra. I'm pretty sure he's fully grown, because I've never even seen him bigger than that. But, yeah. And, um, there's my giant Danios. We're getting pretty big. Oh, and I got that new filter for my last video. I exchanged it for the old 20 gallon filter because it started trickling. This one's 125 gallons per hour, so it's doing good. It's cleaning the tank. Looks a lot better than my old one. Actually, you can see there's like no algae on it or anything, but yeah. My old ones have tons of algae on it. Um, yeah, this, and this driftwood doesn't look that good because there is a whole lot of snail eggs on it because I have the snail. I have, I still haven't taken the snail out. He's been dead for like three months. It's a tiger nerite snail, I believe. Um, I have that snail back there. I'm pretty sure it's like a mystery snail or something. I have another really cool nerite snail. So yeah, they're breeding, I think, and they have a bunch of eggs on there, but they don't hatch. I think you need like a brackish tank or a saltwater tank to hatch them. Oh! I'm pretty sure that this... Oh, that's the skeleton of... That's a, a bone... That's bones right there from my dead last catfish, actually. I'm pretty sure I saw some of the fish eating his dead body over there, actually. So, yeah, that, that really sucks, but, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. I might have missed something, but yeah, I need to change this bulb, probably. It's still pretty bright, but it's got a lot of algae on it. And yeah, I haven't replaced it in a while, so yeah. I'm just going to give you you from the top right there. I'm just going to let you look at the fish swim by for a bit. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Might have forgotten something. Yeah, as you can see, look how clean that filter is. 
Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Bye.